Um, did you read the latest uh, Jason Schreier article? I saw some notes on it. So there was. So this is what I gathered. So there was a pizza party. Yes. And where? the QA team was invited to said pizza where, party. Where? 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 At Activision. Uh-huh. Sorry, at Activision. The, the the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 team right. was... The QA team was invited to a company pizza party. <clears throat> and when they got to the said pizza party, they were told they only had 20 minutes and they couldn't <laughs> eat anything and they couldn't drink anything. And then they had to go back to work. That's just an example of how they're, how the... The contract employees who work on QA as QA and, and probably most of these big publishers um, and developers, um, they're all contract employees. And in, in that, that's an example of how they're treated as second class workers, not real, like not as employees of the company, which they're not. Um, but there's just a real separation. It's just an, an example. The, if you keep reading, you'll learn how <laughs> the air conditioning in the building turned off at a certain time. And that's that's awful. And then they would say like, hey, you know, we have all these computers in here and we're like, you know, it's like 90 degrees in here because we're in California. And also like we have all these fucking computers running video games all night. Can we get some air conditioning? And they're like, oh, it's broken. I'm like, but, but it works during the day. No, no, it's broken. Such so stuff like that. Um, and they, you know, they, they're not getting paid a lot of money and they see like. The games, obviously, the games are very fucking successful, and they see the very public news that the executives of the companies are making, of this company, are making, you know, like $30 million a year, and these guys can't even park on site. They got to park, like, half a mile away uh, in just a separate parking lot, and they say, even, like, the, the workers there, like, they walked, not only are they walking from this far parking lot, but when they get to the parking lot... It's all Jaguars and Teslas, and they drove there in their fucking shit ass car, and can't even park in the the company parking lot. So it's it's really just those are all examples of this sort of second class culture that you you have if you're working QA in the game industry. Um, so it's good. To, I think it's good that the light gets shined on this stuff, and um, it's only it only could help. With, with the situation and I think that uh, we're lucky to have Jason write articles like this and get in contact and we're lucky that that the people working there feel comfortable enough to talk to him to people like him and, and to him specifically and to to you know get the story out there we'll see if it makes any difference the problem is that it's even though it's a low play, low paying job it's sort of there's some sort of like nerd glamour to it well, and I, I don't even think the complaint all in was so much about how it's low paying as much as it is. If you're going to pay us nothing, treat us treat us like people. Yeah, yeah. That's the, definitely part of it, for sure. That's a big part of it. They f- you know, if, if they were treated well, if they were given the pizzas and the beers and better parking sure. and air conditioning. Yeah. Cheap stuff, stuff that's not that you you know you could easily do, not a big sacrifice. Yeah, financially. then an article like this wouldn't exist. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're right. A very I think small it would still exist. It would just be slightly different. Yeah, right. Thanks. There'd be another way they're getting fucked. I'm sure. They're, they're, uh... The, pro- it, the this problem isn't, is this isn't totally unique to video games. It's it's no, it's unique. Contractors to, it's, are not yeah. direct hire employees, and so it's different. I, but I think in this case, they know that they can just fill these jobs like pretty easily. That's what a lot of contractors lot of, are. Yeah, but especially I think for video games, especially, it's there's a there's an appeal there that's just not there for other contract jobs. I also think that you know if you treat the employees well, oh, and again, we're not saying they need to make tons of money, just the bare minimum. Right, you'll get a better game. Right. Yeah. It's it's. A little goes a long way. It sounds cheesy, yeah. but yeah, for sure. Pizza. Hook them up with the pizza. Anyway, it's a good article. Should uh, check out Jason's book too, Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. Very good. Okay. Um, but, but where are we? Oh, now there's <laughs> – let's get into some politics, Wombat. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Uh, it's not really politics, but Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony are joining forces to fight uh, Trump's tariffs on China 
because as you probably know, our beloved video game consoles are being built in China. And apparently it looks like the costs could go up about 25%. And those as tariffs work, those are passed on to us, the, the customer. And obviously the, <laughs> the platform holders want to sell as many consoles as possible. And the, high, the more money they cost, the less they will sell. So we've got a problem. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't know. What else to say we got besides that? Um, we'll find out how pow powerful that video game lobby is, I guess. This is the combined forces, though, of the big three. <laughs>